I'll bet you that you've used a bull roarer, probably even made one, tying a ruler to a piece of string and whirring it around your head so it goes brrrr like that. That's a bull roarer. This is the South American equivalent, or sort of uh, junk version of it. It's a cup on the end of a string, and it sounds like this. Or, if you want to, like this. In fact, it's got lots of different sounds. And it works uh, a bit differently from the bull roarer. First of all, that's a tin or a cup with a string coming through a hole in the middle. It's just knotted on the other side, like uh, that. It comes out, and it comes up to this sort of piece of dowling here, and it's a loose loop which goes round like this. But it actually catches, if you listen to that, it's catching there because I've used a very important substance there and it's violinist's rosin. That's a bit specialised but uh, it's the only thing that really works. It's dry but it's sticky. When you put it in there it uh, sticks between the string and the wood and makes that sort of catching sound. I've tried other things. Sugar sort of works, dry sugar crystals, but really there's nothing quite like the rosin. So get yourself a bit. Anybody who plays a stringed instrument with a bow will have a piece and all you need are the sort of crumbs that are left over. All right, how do we begin? First of all, with a handle. Get some dowling, some round stuff, and you want to cut a trench all the way around. And that's best done with a file, particularly a large file with a sharp corner. Just keep cutting away there. Make sure it's a, a groove that really does meet itself on the other side, or else you'll be in all sorts of trouble as the thing winds itself around your ears. But once you can get it to meet up with itself, keep filing it, and it'll end up in something like that fashion there. Quite a decent groove, and the string fits inside that. Well, the string is best uh, if it's fairly thick, otherwise it can break and fly off uh, and do all sorts of trouble. But before you tie it into a knot, take one end in your teeth or a vice, pull the other end out straight, and just up here where you're going to tie the knot or the loop, use the violinist rosin like this. Really work it into the string until it is saturated with it, and you'll find that once it is, It'll be quite stiff and sticky to the touch. That's where you tie your loop. And make the loop big enough to fit over the dowling with uh, quite a bit to spare. Like that. You see that fits onto the dowling there and fits in the groove. Even now it should make that creaking noise. But just to make sure, get a crumb of rosin, a little bit like that, put it into the groove and crush it into a powder and once it's like that, put the string on it and work it in. That'll really, really get that contact between the string and the wood to make that squeaking. Well, that squeaking is not much on its own, but if you tie the other end of the string through a cup, you'll get a, the whole cup will amplify the, the sound, and you'll get effects like this. First of all, let's get this uh, piece of dowling that I've used. I've got lots of grooves there because each one makes a slightly different sound. Put the loop on there, it's well rosined, and in this case, I get this sound. This is a plastic canister. Well, if I move the cup, that's not heavy enough to work like a, a bull roarer, so the tin is good for that. As long as you don't clonk somebody in the head if they're standing next to you, you can shove the tin on there, and that, of course, goes round making the, the roaring sound. Or if you want to, in changing tension, you can get these sounds. Or if you get a very small canister, like the baby one here, a film tube's very good, you can put that on there, and by putting your hand over the end of it, you can make the thing talk. And these are actually used in uh, sort of rough South American bands even today. And uh, if you're really good, you can get a few together and create your own South American cup roarer rhythms. <laughs>